Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and today I'm coming at you with a eyebrow tutorial. I recently did an eyebrow tutorial and since then my eyebrows have changed. I have also gotten a lot of questions on how I groom my eyebrows and get them all ready. Matter of fact, the queen, Huda Beauty, actually came out with a collaboration with Weezerman. Very excited. I can use all of these goodies to show you how to get her done. Huda Beauty and Tweezerman had a collaboration with everything you need to slay your brows. Very exciting. Adorable packaging. Uh, hello. Super cute. When they asked me to do a video using the product, I was super excited. I like to support anything Huda does. This is a match made in heaven and it's just perfect. So I'm gonna go through what's in here real quick. First thing, the biggest thing, you have a 10 times magnifying mirror. So you can basically see everything. Everything. And this is nice for when you're doing any type of grooming to make sure you can see so no one can catch you slipping. But this magnification up in here, you can see your future so close. Anyways, little scissors, amazing for trimming eyelashes, false eyelashes to the perfect length and for, you know, trimming those wild crazy eyebrows. Very happy to say. I used to have like five eyebrow hairs. Very lucky that I can even groom my eyebrows now. I know, six eyebrows, let me try. Next, you get a little spoolie. Now that I've been growing my eyebrows out, I always comb them through, especially being someone who does their foundation with their hands. I need to comb out the foundation and any other product that's in my brows, so I have a nice even base to work with. Next up you have the adorable mini tweezers. This is great for tweezing on the go. If you have a little runaway that just surprises you when you're out, you can get it. Then you also get a full size tweezers. You know, and you can spend a little bit more time, get in there all the way. These are really great for applying eyelashes. I usually do my uh, eyelashes, apply my false lashes with my fingers. I know a lot of people prefer to use tweezies, so these are really great for them too. So it really makes sense. Anywho, I'm gonna get into how I do my eyebrows right quick. I'm gonna show you how to use these products and uh, make this face come to life. You know, eyebrows frame the face, so let's get into it. Nice and close, baby. So I am going to be looking into this mirror here, and I'm gonna start with the smaller tweezers here. I wish we could get close on my camera. Oh, we can. Because I have these super small tweezers and this close 10 times mirror right here, I'm able to see nice and close. I don't know if you ever get those little hairs in the inner corners of your eyes where the eyelashes kind of grow outwards. I'm gonna tweeze those out just because it helps to keep the eyeshadow in the inner corners of my eyes nice and clean looking. You guys, hate to admit it, but uh, Sometimes, you know, girls have mustaches too, so I'm gonna get in there. This is, this is just between us, you know? I don't know who's gonna see this. I'm outing myself, but I noticed that, uh, especially when you get on these HD cameras here and you're filming yourself, you notice things. So I'm just going to privately handle that. Even though it's not that visible, like it's nice to not have a shadow over your lip when you're doing your makeup. <laughs> the things we do for YouTube. Usually you want to do this without makeup, but uh, I didn't think I'd be outing myself like this. But with this mirror, I'm seeing things. I'm seeing a lot of things. Now that no one can call me mustachio anymore, to the eyebrows. And first thing I wanna do so I don't play myself, I'm gonna take my little spoolie, I'm gonna comb my eyebrow hairs all the way up so I can kind of see the shape and see where I would like to snip any flyaways. And I'm gonna cut any of the flyaway hairs that are sticking straight up, like this little fellow right here. Bye. I like that these scissors are on a slant, so you have one angled side and one flat side. I'm resting the flat side against my skin so I can get in nice and close without cutting myself. That way I can use the flat side of the scissors to cut along top line of my eyebrows. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the top, but this time I'm brushing them all the way down and seeing what flyaways poke out when I comb them downwards. Give them a little snippy snip. That way when you're doing your eyebrows, you don't get little runaways that can mess up the shape they have nowhere to go. 
because they aren't welcome here no more. And you know you're done when there's no little guys sticking out. If not, then you've got the perfect shape to start with. So now I'm going to put in my shape. A lot of people do the lining it up with the inner tear duct, like it should start here. I feel like that'd be a little too wide for me, so I bring it in a little closer. I'm going to move them a little bit further apart today. Second step is you line it up with the outer edge of your pupil. That should be the highest part of your arch. And from the edge of the eye is where the arch ends or where your eyebrow ends. I like a little bit of a straighter brow. So when I start, I like to start with the ones that I know for show sure can't be there anymore. So I know I don't need a unibrow, so I like to start by cleaning up the center. Let's handle that right quick. What I like to do is lean the flat part of the tweezers right up against my skin and then pinch together to pull the hair out. Didn't even know how hairy I was till this mirror showed me the truth. Like what? Why do I have to pluck all the way up here? This is wild. Oh my gosh. I noticed that it's a little lower on this side here, so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and straighten it out to open my eyes and to create some more eyelid space. And I'm doing very small areas at once just so I don't overdo it, because I've done that before. Lately, the way I've been doing my brows, I've been kind of leaving the little hairs that are growing underneath because I don't mind it looking like a little bit full in my arches. So now I wanna pull up this side here on the bottom and drop it down a little bit on the top just so that it has a little bit of a nicer shape. You also wanna pluck in the direction that the hair grows. That'll help minimize any irritation or bumps that can occur with plucking. I'm going to give them another comb through. My eyebrows are naturally quite straight. This is like how they kind of naturally are. Like, they are growing as hard as they can. They're doing their best. This one does come up a little bit higher than this one, but instead of me wanting to pluck them down, I'd rather just keep the hair that I have. That's just my face. I'm gonna roll with it. I'd rather have hair. So now I'm gonna get into some brow filling in. So I've been really feeling this natural brow thing, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit more angled and a little bit more sharp. Last brow tutorial, they were a little crazy. Got crazier and bigger from there. So I'm gonna go into the dark brown Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade. Smooth it on the back of my hand to get a nice fine point. This is my Smith 205 brush. Do little stripies, starting right from the bottom row of my hair. I like to use a very, very small amount, very forgiving amount, if you will. Doing light strokes in the same direction that your hair grows. Then for the top, these ones grow kind of downwards. I'm gonna use a downward motion for the top. I feel like these are the quickest brows you can do because you're literally just filling in the gaps where they already grow. So to keep them looking like extra snatched and to be a little extra, which <laughs> we always want to do, I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation, a little bit of my concealer, just to sheer it out so it's not so intense. I'm gonna mix it like that. I'm gonna snatch up these eyebrows using very little product. And it gives kind of like a little brow lift, you know? And once you got the line in, I just kind of wiggle it back and forth so it softens a little bit. Just go in the middle to cover any redness that's happened from plucking. Very, very lightly do the top. Just to soften it up, which friends we definitely do, I'm gonna go back in with the spoolie. I'm gonna give them a comb. None of the hairs are out of place. They're just combed, all cute. And this is gonna help just to blend the product. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer and I'm just gonna go right over top, just so you don't see like a halo of the snatching process. Let's just do some more on the cheeks, why not? So to be honest, I'm not great at putting lashes on with tweezers, but I'm gonna do it just to show you, because I've never done it on my channel before. And I'm gonna use Lana Lashes by Huda Beauty, some of my favorites. I'm gonna use some of her glue as well. So I'm gonna get into some of the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. And what I just noticed is that there's little sticky things on the back, so if you need to see up close in your mirror, you can just like wedge this on and get up in there. You don't have to hold it, except not on your wall. On your mirror though, fire. When I'm doing my brows, I usually like to see up close to get little hairs, but from far away to see if it's balanced because sometimes it's hard to see if it's balanced from that close. So throughout the video, I went up to look at myself in the bathroom mirror to make sure I'm not playing myself on camera, you know? This is great because I feel like I can't fail here seeing so close doing my mascara. I can't say that I ever have, but lashes on with tweezers. But I know lots of my makeup loving friends do do it. So let's learn together today. I'm gonna go quite close to the lash band like that. I'm actually going to wiggle it as close as I can to my lash line. Oh my gosh, am I getting my life? Wow, wow, I understand why people do this. This is easy. It was nice and mess free. Hopefully this is just as easy breezy as the first side. I'm gonna go right on top. My lashes like that. This makes so much sense. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to wiggle it down and pinch it. I feel like I've unlocked some secret everyone knew about. Maybe that'll happen with me and baking. I bake cookies. My muffins are to die for. You know what? This is another thing I do with tweezers. Because I waited too long and was talking. 
is I'll take a little bit of glue, put it on the bottom of my tweezers, paint like a little eyeliner type line on my lashes, and glue it down, friends. I like to leave my mistakes in my videos. So those are the things where you guys are like, thanks for leaving that in so you know how to correct stuff. Even though I feel mad dumb, but it's real life. This is how makeup goes down. Okay, eyebrows on, eyelashes on. I think we're doing something here. So I'm gonna do like a super quick lip. I was I was gonna do it off camera, but maybe you guys wanna see. So I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Trendsetter Liquid Lip, and I'm gonna go on the outer corners of my lips. Then I'm gonna take Crush Liquid Lip and put it in the center. Give it a little finger blend. And I'm gonna try one of these lip strobes in Angelic. I haven't tried these yet. And I'm just gonna drop that right in the center and again give it a little finger blend. So that completes our video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Tweezerman and Huda Beauty for partnering with me on this video. Such an honor, super dope, super cool. My eyebrows are snatched. My mustache is snatched. Also, thank you for making it this far in the video because now I'm gonna let you know about a giveaway. If you wanna win all of the stuff that I used today in the video, the whole kit, the lippy pouch, the big tweezers, the little tweezers, the skizzers, the mirror that can see your future, and the spoolie, make sure you're following your girl on Instagram and I will post the contest details on there. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow and love yourself and stay pretty and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.